All right, thank you for tuning in. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a multi-view drawing. For that, I'm gonna start a new English standard inch IPT. And just as in previous videos, you're gonna hit start 2D sketch. We always create our drawings on the XY plane. For this, I'm just gonna ask you to make a simple cube, kind of like what we were doing on a paper earlier in this little mini course. So. Rectangle tool starting at the origin. Next, I'm going to go into the dimension tool. Remember that we always dimension the width or length along the x axis first. I'm going to click to place this dimension. I would like you to make a two inch cube. So I type in a two, hit the green check mark, goes off the screen, no worries. Hit the word front on this magic cube. Next, I'm going to dimension the height or the distance along the Y axis. Click on that line, place my dimension, type the number two, green check mark, hit the word front again. So there's my two dimensional drawing. You probably remember from previous videos that to go three dimensional, you extrude. And for that, you click the letter E on your keyboard. And as soon as you do that, your drawing goes to an isometric. I'm gonna click on this corner of the cube so I can see my entire drawing. Currently it's at a distance of one inch. I'm gonna edit that and make it two inches. I'm gonna hit okay. And now I have a cube. Two inch by two inch by two inch cube. So after I've done that, then the next step is to save the drawing. So I'm gonna go click on the little disc up here And if you're doing this for the first time, you want to go into the save in box and you got a lot of different options. Mine and yours probably is connected to a Google Drive, your Google Drive account. So I'm going to hit Google Drive. Then I'm going to click my drive. Actually, I double clicked on that so I could open that folder. And then you'd probably start seeing some of the folders or files that you have in there. Now, if you have a folder for a class you're currently taking, you can place it in there, or you can just save it randomly into a different spot. Like for this assignment, it really doesn't matter. You just save it somewhere in your Google Drive. So I'm gonna stick it in a design and modeling folder. I am gonna give this part a file name, and I'm gonna call it my two inch cube. I hit save and now I have a copy of that. It's something I can use and go back to and uh, use for other things. So how do we make this into a multi-view? Here's the next step. This guy's good. You can see I've got my two inch cube IPT down here. I'm gonna go click on this sheet of paper with a corner dog-eared. And I'm still in the English system. This time I'm not gonna select standard inch IPT. I'm dropping down and I'm going to take an ANSI inch IDW and you can see it looks a little bit like a multi-view drawing. All right, so here it is and uh, you can see it's a, it's a pretty large sheet. I'm not going to teach you about how to switch paper size or anything like that for this lesson. What I am going to show you how to do is easily make a multi-view drawing. So here we're gonna go click on the base button. And it's quite possible that you'll see a preview of your most recent drawing, but if you don't, you click on this little folder and you go find your part. So like for example, my part is in my Google Drive, my drive. I believe I put it in this folder here And, ooh, I don't see part one, roaster, part one, roaster. Where did I put that? Ah, there it is, my two inch cube. It's just in my drive, I didn't place it inside of a folder. So there it is, I can hit open that way and you can get to your drawing in that 
fashion. Uh, my scale is one to one, so this is drawing at actual size. I'm gonna move this guy over into this area. I don't need a whole lot of paper here. Like I said, this is a huge piece of paper. I'm gonna hit okay, and I've got this view. This is our front view. Here's how you go about getting the rest of the views. I'm gonna click on this button that says projected. I'm gonna go in and click on my base view. I'm gonna slide my mouse up. Here comes my top view of a cube. I'm gonna click my mouse. I'm gonna go back down to my front view or base view and slide over. Here comes my side view. I'm gonna click. And just because I think it looks cool, I'm gonna go up in this corner here and give myself an isometric. So I'm gonna click here. And a lot of people might be saying, well, what good is a green little box doing me? Well, nothing yet, but here's what comes next. On your mouse, right click, hit the right button. Go over and click on create, and you've got a multi-view drawing. That's how easy these things are. You could go and save this if you needed it for something else. I don't need this for something else. I was just trying to teach you how to make a multi-view. I hope you've liked this video. If you have, please hit the like and subscribe button, and be sure and tune in to our next video. Thanks so much for watching.